We have uh, confirmed deaths of 279 children, over 400 injured. That's directly as a result of the conflict. But then we've been doing a lot of assessment work in amongst our programming over the last few weeks to revise our projections and targets. And we estimate now that 9.3 million children um, in Yemen are in need of life-saving support, which is a significant increase on what the situation was before, um, before March. Well, we assess the single biggest humanitarian challenge facing children is the breakdown of commercial supplies coming into the country. What humanitarian agencies can bring is really uh, very, very small compared to what the commercial shipping has been traditionally bringing into Yemen. Yemen relies on its 95% uh, of its food is imported. Uh, so if that stops, there's a serious crisis facing Yemen with or without any conflict. The deaths are spread around the country, uh, both from uh, bombing and from street fighting, and uh, all, um, all uh, parties to the conflict uh, bear some responsibility. We haven't yet seen uh, the donor community step up to the growing needs, uh, whereby 20 million Yemenis, 85% of the population, are now in need of life saving support. However, we're very hopeful over the next few weeks that uh, donors from all around the world will be stepping up to provide us, not just UNICEF, but all humanitarian partners, with the much needed funds to, to provide the life saving support to Yemeni children. A colleague of mine told me the other day he has a one and a half year old son uh, and every time a plane passes overhead the little the little baby the little boy looks to at his family and uh, if he if he senses their nervousness he puts his hands over his ears and lies on the ground and starts crying uh, I think uh, every child is reacting in a different way but it's but he, each case is tragic <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.